Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to make a quick tutorial here on how to create preparations in ExoCAD. Uh, it, is, uh, it is quite simple. I'm going to be using the new version of the software, Galway. It has a couple of tools in it that make your life a lot easier to, to do this workflow. Uh, however, I'll go over uh, some of the options that you can utilize in case that you are not running Galway. All right, so first of all, order, order form creation. We are going to be selecting our order form as a uh, provisional um, uh, or eggshell crown. That, that's all we need to select. All right, and then we are going to go here into the wizard. So first thing that the software is going to ask is that we, um, that, that we click on the tooth that we want the, the software to, to create a provisional on. So we'll go ahead and click on the, on the molar. The, everything is selected. Okay, and then we'll move forward. Now, we're not gonna spend any time on the following few steps, so we don't care to make any changes here. We don't care to make any, any adaptations. We wanna get to this point. All right, so at this point, we're creating the interior of the crown. So that's kind of what it looks like. Obviously, that looks more or less like a preparation. So that's kind of where we're going. Now, uh, to change the, sh the shape of the preparation, you would, you would play here with a shoulder width. And so, you, in that way, you can control how much is being prepped. You can also add a taper to the preparation. So as you can see here, uh, you can either make it more straight or you can taper a little bit depending on what you want. And then lastly, uh, this shoulder here has an angle. Uh, right now it's set at zero, but you can, you can change that angle depending on what you want, for example. So let's assume for the sake of demo that this is exactly what we're looking for. All right, that's our preparation. And so once we have it, what we want to do is hide everything else that's here. And then we are going to save this as an STL. So we just right click, we make sure that's the only thing you're visualizing. You right click on the save button and you say export to mesh. Now I've already done this in the uh, previously. So I created this, this file called prep and that's all we need. Okay, so once we have that, then we'll go into expert mode and then uh, we pretty much can forget about everything we've done so far. So we're just gonna hide everything else. And then in expert mode, with the new version of the software called Galway, you have the option of extracting teeth, okay, digitally. So I'll show you that in a minute. In case that you are not running Galway, you can always do the following. You can right click on the, on the, um, the model, and then you can select edit mesh. Now the way that I like to do it, I like to make my model 50% transparent just so I make sure that I'm selecting what I wanna select and I'm not selecting the wrong side of, uh, or the wrong surface on the other side of the model. All right, so as I rotate, I make sure that I'm just looking at background through the model instead of uh, the other side of the model. And I just wanna select the tooth that I'm extracting. Okay, something along these lines. All right, so once I have that, then I can tell the software delete and then I can select the circle and, and select close holes. And then the software will close it. Now, what we wanna do after this is in, in expert mode, you have the option of freeforming the scan data. And so you wanna go into that and just give this a better shape or detail this uh, in a proximal area a little bit better. So that's one way of creating uh, or doing extractions in, in another version of the software that's not Galway, okay? What I'm gonna do here is use the new tool, okay? And it's, it is much easier to, to do it. So uh, all you have to do is just click on the tooth and it kind of behaves like the uh, provisional crown selection. It knows, the, uh, it, it selects the, the shape of the tooth. It creates a pre-op mesh for it in case that, that we wanna keep it, okay? Or we can tell the software we don't wanna copy depending on what, on what you want. All right, so I'll just say no copy just for, for the sake of, of, the, of the demo. All right, and we click okay. And so now what we wanna do, now that we have our extraction, we are going to go here into tools and we are going to add or remove a mesh. And then we are going to import, uh, let's just say generic visualization mesh. We're going to import our prep. All right, so there we have our preparation. Now notice one thing. Our mesh here has the, let's call it bright yellow on the bottom and the dark yellow on the top, which means that our triangles are inverted. So in order to fix this, so that everything has the same direction, because right now 
the 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 occlusal surface of what we're looking at is the right direction of, of the the scan but not of the prep and then over here is uh, the other way around okay so to make that change we just visualize this mesh we right click on it and select edit mesh and then I, I just like to select this here because with one click I can select the entire thing and then I right click on it and it shows me it says here show triangle orientation so obviously this is wrong so we right click on it again and we can invert the triangle orientation and now everything is facing the right side up uh, so to speak all right so now that we have this we will go into the freeforming uh, of the scan data and we can just go ahead and clear all of this extra mesh that's blocking uh, the margin from being visualized. All right, and we can do this. Uh, probably put a little more uh, uh, care when we're doing this so that it, it's more precise, the results are more precise. Okay, and so we do this. And that's pretty much all we need. Now, the last thing to do is to right click on the background, uh, right click on the uh, the save button, and then we select here export scene to mesh. Now, make sure that you're visualizing the prep and the model at the same time, and then you can create. Uh, I don't know. Let's call it model one, two, three, whatever. You say yes, and then you select here uh, use original uh, coordinate system so that it it is in the same position doesn't matter which software you use and so now if we go here and we look at our model one two three then this is going to be our final result and hoping that it'll launch soon right here and then we have our prep model for us to design and that's that's pretty much it that's pretty much the entire process uh, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them on the on the comment section. Uh, I would appreciate a like and a, subs a subscribe to my channel. And I thank you for watching the video.